Hello, this is Coach Clemens, head football coach of Liberty North Eagles. Um, the Eagles have had two games since last time we had the show. Uh, last week on uh, Wednesday night, we played Smithville High School and, and uh, won 31 to 10. And then uh, last night, we played against St. Joseph Lafayette High School for the district championship and uh, beat them 35 to zero. So. Kids are playing hard. They're they're earning their victories, and uh, they're 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 being physical. And their work has paid off. Open it to questions. What are you telling your guys with each win you guys have been picking up in the postseason? Well, you know, winning the district championship is a is a kind of a milestone. Kind of, but it's also kind of a step along the way. You know, we want to be in the state championship game, and so um, each time we win, we tell them that we've got a little bit more work ahead. How much do you think that playing at home has affected your guys' experience? Well, uh, I think that that's pretty traditional that teams play better at home. Um, I, we've probably outscored our opponents 300, you know, 200 and something to 20 or 30 at home. So it's, it's uh, the kids feel comfortable there and they play hard there. Uh, you know, we need to go on the road this week to Bolivar. And uh, so we need to uh, try to make that our home so we can play well. Well, uh, last night against St. Joe Lafayette, they have a they have a tough physical football team. Those kids are are scrappy kids. Um, we were concerned about being able to run the football, and, and then it was a, a really cold night and a windy night, so we had no alternative but to go ahead and and uh, take our shots running it. And and uh, we had a successful night running the ball, and the defense played lights out football. A lot of big hits, real physical night. Of football, uh, four interceptions on the game, uh, five or six sacks of the quarterback. Defense was just uh, was just uh, overwhelmingly good. I think uh, be their best performance of the year. Um, offensively, we kept grinding away until we uh, in until I think that that we kind of broke their kids down a little bit, and then uh, and then we did then we kept going. So it was overall really it was just kind of Liberty North football. It's the way we like to win football games. We want to be more physical than our opponents. Uh, we want to block, we want to tackle, and, and uh, we want to turn it into a slugging match. And, uh, and, and that's what we were able to do last night, and uh, it worked out to our benefit. Well, you know, I've not seen any film of Bolivar. I've only heard. Now, I do know that uh, they have a quarterback who has uh, several big-time Division I offers. He's committed to the University of Arkansas. He's a runner and a passer. So, um, you know, they, they've, I'm, I'm certain, without seeing the film, I'm certain they rely on him really heavily. Um, they've, uh, they're undefeated at this point. They're 11-0. Uh, you know, they're, they're an outstanding team. We don't know what kind of football they play down in southern Missouri, you know, and, and, uh, and they probably aren't real familiar with the kind of football we play up here. So, you know, we'll just go down there and match what we have with what they have, and, uh, and God willing, you know, we'll come back with a victory. Well, in practice, we've been lightening the load for the kids a little bit. Um, you know, it's not time to reinvent the wheel. We've we we uh, been practicing the same stuff since June, and uh, now is not the time to change it. So we try to uh, refresh their minds and, and apply what we what what they already know to what they're going to see, um, and then uh, try to get off that practice field as quickly as possible. Uh, keep kids fresh and and. You know, it's that time of year you just kind of have to let it ride. Obviously, Bolivar's a bit of a drive away. How do you think that's going to affect your guys? Well, I'm, I'm certain that, uh, that that'll be a part of the challenge. You know, it's a three-hour bus ride. 
Uh, don't know our travel arrangements yet, uh, but but there's no doubt that the distraction of a of a bus ride like that will be part of the challenge in the game. Um, we just need to uh, be sure that we're mentally uh, tough enough to ignore the distractions and and go out and and play football. Well, we're starting to heal up a little bit. We've, uh, out at, at the midpoint of the season, we had lost eight starters uh, to injury, which is really what I think could, be, could account for our, our lull there in the middle of the season where we lost a couple games we probably shouldn't have. Um, all those young men are back with the exception of three. Uh, you know, we, due to suspension, we won't have Richard Richardson back. Uh, due to injury, we won't have Peyton Reed back. And then Connor McCann is the third one who's still out, but he will. Uh, but he's healing up, and it's possible he may play this week. Uh, we did lose uh, Luke Small at practice the other day to a sprained MCL, and he's a big part of what we do. So, you know, that's, we're sad for Luke on that regard. You know, we've, I think that we've got a very uh, talented group of young people. I think our, our freshman team was, was really good, and we brought up seven or eight of those kids, and, and they're showing well in practice. Um, sophomore group had an excellent season. Uh, JV, I think, went seven and two. So we're, we're looking forward to the future. Oh, we already have. We've we've brought up some freshmen that practice with us. They're doing a great job. Don't know what their future plans are. I know they have a game in Bolivar. All right, the senior class is a remarkable class of kids. Um, as freshmen, they went winless in the ninth grade, and uh, now they're district champions. So, uh, something to be proud of. They've worked hard. I think uh, quite a few of them are, are hoping to. It's, uh, I think right now they'd rather beat Bolivar and then uh, after we beat Bolivar, uh, win the next one and then the next one and then we'll talk about their college choices. All right, I want to thank everybody for coming. I'm going to get a drink of water. See ya. <laughs> Thanks, guys.